Hello pupils. Welcome to Madam Tay Mathematics class. Our today topic is rounding of numbers. Today, I will combine this topic for year 4 and year 5. Let's look at the concept of rounding off. Look at this diagram. Is a hill, right? Gambar seperti bukit. So now I label 0 on the left side and 10 on the right side. Di hujung kaki bukit, saya letakkan 0 dengan 10. And this is a boy who is riding up his bicycle to the top of the hill. Budak lelaki ini sedang menunggang basikal menuju ke puncak bukit. So, on the top at the on the top at the middle is 5. Saya labelkan 5 di puncak bukit. So, let's say this boy is no more energy, no more energy. Okay? And stop at this place. What will happen to him? Apa akan terjadi kepada budak lelaki ini jika dia berhenti di tempat ni? Of course, this boy will fall down to the zero. Right? Budak lelaki ni akan jatuh ke mana? Jatuh ke kaki bukit zero. Akan jatuh ke zero, kan? So, let's look at the second diagram. The same thing, 0 and 10. And then 5 at the middle, on the top of the hill. 5 di atas, okay. Now, this boy is going down. Budak lelaki ini nak turun bukit. So, if he stop at this place, what will happen to him? Apa akan terjadi kepada lelaki ini? Kalau dia berhenti di tempat ini, dia akan jatuh ke 0 ke 10. Of course, dia akan jatuh ke 10, right? So, this is the concept of rounding off. Look at the important tips of rounding off. Okay, the same diagram with just now. Diagram of a hill. Okay, 5 on the top of the hill. 5 di puncak bukit. So, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Macam budak lelaki tadi, dia akan jatuh ke 0 kan? So, for this, four di this 5 digit, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Remember, we need to plus 0. For 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Remember, we need to plus 1. Okay? Please remember these important tips. Look at this question. Round of 428 to the nearest 10. So, I fill in 428 in a place value chart like this. When you want to round off, okay, you look at the question, round off to the nearest tens. Round off to the nearest tens. So, remember, first step, underline the place value of tens. Underline the digit at the place value of ten. Okay, where is 10? Digit 2. So, underline. Second step, you circle the digit on the right side. Bulatkan digit di sebelah kanan. Lepas underline, bulat digit sebelah kanan is 8. Now, refer to the diagram of the hill. Okay, where is digit 8? Where is digit 8? It's here, right? So, 
plus 0 or plus 1 if it is plus 1, right? So, we write plus 1 at the 10th place value. Okay? After 10th, we change to 0. And then 2 plus 1, we get 3. And at the 100th place, we remain the same. Di tempat 100, kita kekalkan. 4. So, after round off, the answer will be 430. B. Round off the same number to the nearest 100. Sekarang, kena round off to the nearest 100. So, I fill in in a place value chart also. Now, dia nak 100. So, I have to underline 100. Gariskan digit di tempat 100. And then, second step, circle the digit on the right side. Bulatkan digit sebelah kanan. So, look at the digit that I circle. 2. Where is the 2? Where is 2 in the diagram of the hill? Di manakah nombor 2 pada gambar bukit tu? Here, right? So, plus 0 or plus 1? Is plus 0. Right? Sudah, sudah siap tulis plus 0? So, now I need to write the answer. After 100, what should we do? Change all to 0. Selepas 100, kita tukar kepada 0. So, 0, 0. 4 plus 0, 4. So, the answer after round off is 400. Next one. Round off 89,615 to the nearest thousand. Sekarang dia nak round off to the nearest thousand. So, tengok thousand. Kena, first step, kena underline thousand. So, start to count from the back. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand. Thousand di tempat nine. Okay, after underline, second step, circle the digit on the right. Circle 6. Now, refer to this diagram. Where is digit 6? Here. So, we need to plus 1. Plus 1 at the underlined digit. Tambah 1 di tempat yang kita garis. Okay, now, we need to write the answer. So, after 1000, all change to 0. 3, 0. 9 plus 1, we get 10, right? Can I write 10 like this? No, it's wrong. We cannot write 10 like this. What should we write? We should write 0 and then we bring 1 to the 10,000 place. Kita kena tulis sifar lepas tu 1 Kena bawa ke rumah 10,000. Next one, 8 plus 1, we get 9. So, the answer is 90,000. Next one, round of 983,975 to the nearest 10,000. Now, you copy down. The number, salin nombor tadi, ingat langkah satu, underline 10,000. Sebab soalan nak 10,000, underline 10,000, start from the back here. 5 ni, 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, dekat digit 8. So, underline 10,000, circle 3. Now, look at the digit that I circle, 3, 3. Ingat balik gambar bukit tadi? 3 plus 0 or plus 1? Plus 0. Okay. So, now write the answer. After 10,000, all change to 
zero. Four zero at the back, and then eight plus zero, eight, and the ten thousand. Uh, sorry, and the hundred thousand place we remain. Kekalkan yang depan nine. So it's nine hundred eighty thousand. B. Round off to the nearest hundred thousand. Okay, copy down the number. Now underline the first step. Underline hundred thousand. We want hundred thousand. One tens hundred thousand. Ten thousand hundred thousand. Hundred thousand is digit nine. Underline. So circle the number on the right. Eight. Okay, ingat balik gambar bukit. Eight plus zero or plus one? Plus one, right? So after hundred thousand, all change to zero. Nine plus one, we get ten. So this time we can write ten. Kali ini, kali ini kita boleh tulis ten terus. Sebab di depan nine. Tak ada lagi digit yang lain. Jadi kita boleh tulis 10 ni terus. So the answer is 1 million. Okay, now. State 3 numbers which become 8,500 when rounded off to the nearest 100. Sekarang soalan ini terbalik. Dia bagi jawapan selepas round off. 8,500 8, adalah selepas round off. Okay. To the nearest 100. Sekarang dia round off to the nearest 100. Tengok ya. Ini jawapan selepas round off. Dia round off to the nearest 100. So gariskan tempat 100. So, sekarang kita kena cari tiga nombor. Tiga nombor selepas round off to the nearest hundred, dia akan dapat 8,500. So, kita ada dua kemungkinan dekat tempat hundreds ni. We have two possible digit to put at the hundred place. Ada dua kemungkinan. The first one is four. Mungkin di tempat hundreds tu adalah 4. The second possible answer is 8, 5. Di tempat hundreds adalah 5. Okay, ini kemungkinan yang kedua. Okay, ini tempat hundreds. Dan kita akan bulatkan digit se di sebelah kanan kan? Okay, underline hundred. We circle the digit on the right side. Okay. Remember the diagram of the hill? Ingat lagi gambar bukit tadi? This one? Okay. Now, if 4 to become 5, 4 ini nak jadi 5, 4 ini dia kena buat apa? Plus 1 ke plus 0? Mesti plus 1 kan? 4 plus 1 baru dia dapat 5 kan? So, dekat sini dia mesti plus 1. Okay. So, kalau dia plus 1, okay, digit yang kita kena letak di tempat circle ini. Okay, tengok plus 1. Plus 1, digit dia adalah 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, digit yang mungkin boleh letak di tempat yang circle tu adalah 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and at the ones place di tempat ones kita boleh letak any digit maksudnya sebarang nombor from 0 to 9 suka hati nak letak nombor apa so I write the first one I choose 8, 4 ok, 5, 2 the second one maybe I choose 8, 4, 9, 9 Eight four eight zero, eight four seven three, eight four six nine, dan ada banyak lagi yang kamu boleh pilih. Tak semestinya lima ini saja. Ada banyak lagi eight four, 
8480 ke 8473 ke pun boleh ok now let's look at the second possible lah. one tengok kemungkinan yang kedua ini alright kalau 5 nak jadi 5 of course kita plus 0 kan ok kalau plus 0 tengok digit apa yang plus 0 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 So dekat tempat circle Mesti pilihan ini saja 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 Ini je pilihan yang kita boleh letak And then the one space Dekat tempat ones Any digit So I choose the first one 8506 The second one 8517 Then 8520, 8533, 8541 and many more. Ada banyak lagi. You just choose three answer, three numbers. Sebab soalan nak tiga saja. Three numbers. So you just choose three numbers. Pilih mana-mana tiga. Okay, last one. State four. Numbers which become 52,000 when rounded off to the nearest thousand. Sekarang nearest thousand selepas round off dapat 52,000. Dia nak empat nombor. Okay, tengok ya 52,000. Dia nak nearest thousand. So I underline thousand. Okay, like just now this question. Will have two possible digit at the thousand place. Ada dua kemungkinan nombor di tempat thousand. The first one is one digit one at the thousand place. The second one is digit two at the thousand place. Okay. So we underline thousand and then circle the digit on the right. So kalau one 1 nak dapatkan 2 Kita mesti plus 1 Okay Yang plus 1 Apa yang kita kena isi di tempat circle Digit apa Start from 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 Ini je pilihannya yang boleh kita letak di tempat circle And then at the temp at the tens and ones place You can put any digit apa-apa nombor je di tempat tens dengan ones. Okay. Sekarang tengok kemungkinan kedua. Okay. Kalau 2 nak dapatkan 2, of course kita plus 0. Okay. 2 plus 0, we get 2. Okay. Kalau plus 0, apa yang kita boleh isi di tempat circle? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 Right? So, ini je pilihan digit yang boleh masuk dalam circle tu So, dua digit akhir Bebas Any digit Understand? So, I choose This is the first answer 5, 1 Then I choose 7 8, 2 For the second one I choose 5, 1 and then I choose 9. The last two digit, any number, 4, 4. For this one, I choose the second possible digit, 5, 2 and then I choose 0, 6, And the last one, 5, 2, I choose 4, digit 4, 1, 6. Okay, that's all for today.